Uh, welcome to a new video and a new camera review, this time the Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus. So let's get started. Let's talk about the cameras. We have a 15 megapixel 1 over 1.2 inch sized sensor, a very large one. And then we have a triple lens setup consisting of 64 megapixel sensors, one over two inch size, which is still okay for a periscope zoom three and a half times for an ultra wide angle and for a monochrome lens. And then of course we also have a front facing camera with a 3D time of flight sensor and 3D scanner, face scanner and a 13 megapixel 100 degree field of view front cam. And I think we start with this front cam taking some videos. And this is the front facing camera, 4K 30 frames per second, the maximum resolution and frame rate that you can get here. This is the wide angle view, but you can also go to a 0.8 times that probably is a little bit better stabilized. And if you want to zoom in a little bit more, you can go to a one time zoom, which looks like this and is probably even better. Uh, though this front facing camera for a Pro Plus model doesn't have autofocus which is a little bit of a bummer and reminds me a little bit of the Mate 40 Pro. Still this is 4K30 for Chinese uh, phone manufacturer which is pretty awesome otherwise you only get 1080p30 on uh, some phones and stabilization is working fine as well so I could imagine this using this as a front-facing camera as well especially because of the large field of view. It is very comparable to the Mate 40 Pro and uh, yeah, the quality is good. High dynamic range is hard to test because it's a bit of a cloudy day today. But uh, what do you think about this quality and stabilization? So this is now the main lens on the Magic 3 Pro Plus. 4K 60 frames per second. This is the quality that you can get with this one. Uh, by the way, external microphone plugged in via USB Type-C, which is working fine. As long as you're not using one of those USB-C dongles for wireless microphones, because my, uh, what was it, Blink 500 is not working for some reason with the Magic 3 Pro Plus. But this one is working fine. What do you think about the background blur, stabilization and colors? It's a bit of a gloomy day, like I said, cloudy day. But still, I think you can get like first impression on this one. Sadly, I cannot go out to the ultra wide angle because some kind of disease hit Huawei and Honor because the ultra wide angle doesn't support 60 frames per second. So I have to go to yeah, 30 frames per second for using the ultra wide angle, even though it has like 64 megapixels um, and is a good large sensor. The readout speeds of this sensor are apparently too slow for it to record 60 frames per second. The ultra wide angle 4K 30 frames per second. In this case, I hope you don't see my arm or my hand uh, moving into the picture because it also has like I think 100 uh, more than 100 um, degree um, image size, which is simply pretty awesome, I would say. So, what do you think about stabilization here? What do you think about colors? And what do you think about this quality here on the ultra wide angle? And uh, now a little zoom test and what I noticed as well is 4K 30 frames per second. If I'm recording, it has a 15 minute limit for some reason. So after 15 minutes, it just simply turns itself off. Anyway, 4K 30 now I'm using here right now because I think in 60 frames per second, it's not switching lenses. So let's do the zoom test here. I'm trying to zoom on this little sign there. And this is now four times zoom. It switched, I think, already the lens. And I can go in to 10 times, which is the maximum. And you can see, you can read it pretty good and awesome. And another test, 10 times zoom on this little church roof here, where you can see the crosses. And I can zoom out here to see the whole church. And I can even zoom out beyond one time into ultra wide angle. There you can see how further, how far in I can zoom in. I can zoom in pretty quickly as well and you can see it's pretty stable which is pretty nice so 10 times zoom is working fine here at 4k I would say what do you think about this quality and then we have this movie mode here which uh, uses a lot by default and you can of course change it to whatever you want to I am recording now 4k 24 frames per second in 21 by 9 so this is the typical movie mode that you can see it has an automatic LUT selection, so it has some predefined LUTs that can automatically select which LUT is fitting to the scene. And also in 4K I have a 15 minute limit here. 
And this is how it looks like when I'm filming myself in this movie mode. And I also noticed that this movie mode has the limit that it's only working with the main camera. So the ultra wide angle is not working and the zoom lens basically also not working. The only thing that it does is like a two times crop, which is working, but it's a crop on the main sensor. So I think it has something to do maybe with the frame rate that the other sensors are not able to do 24 frames per second, or the LUT is not being able to apply on hardware level like this one is. So what do you think about this movie mode? Is it really useful, usable, or is it like a little bit yeah, limiting in a way? And another discovery that I made is that in this movie mode you can also record in 4K 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but only at 4K. 1080p 16 by 9 aspect ratio is not possible at all, which is like, why? Honor, why are you doing this? Give us also 16 by 9 in 1080p and give us maybe also yeah, 60 frames per second if it's even possible to do so. Otherwise this is 24 frames per second so you'll see like this little bit of a smearing going on but I think it's uh, bright enough and maybe I can get a little bit of the sun there above me. I'm not sure if you can see it. So yeah this might be a little bit of an HDR test as well but what do you think about uh, the movie mode on the Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus? Oh, I'm now recording in the pro mode using log format which is pretty flat by default but I can color grade it and I can do this on the Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus in the gallery app itself which is pretty pretty awesome because it allows me to adjust and tweak the colors of the video to my liking so I can change it to whatever mood I want to give you in my video and yeah this is pretty awesome I would say 4k 30 frames per second 15 minutes limit again I think it has something to do with the Snapdragon 888 running hot but what do you think about this uh, cool feature and what we want to do right now is taking a look at some photos that I took with the Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus. And this, by the way, is 60 frames per second from the front cam and it doesn't have any limitations in terms of recording time, which is pretty awesome. But let's get back to the photos. So here are the photos and what you can see here are also the settings of the photos just like for example the aperture you can see the photo length in 35 millimeter and you can also see the shutter speed. So I first start with the selfie photos. The selfie photos are pretty fine. They have nice sharpness as you can see here. They have nice uh, HDR as well. It was a gloomy day here in this case, but it's working fine and uh, I don't have any issues with the selfie camera and this one is now in the default uh, option. Then another shot here. This is a shot uh, with the zoom lens. This is not shooting at I think three and a half times. This is roughly three times zoom to something times zoom. You can get this nice shots here and close-ups of like uh, this kind of thing here where you see the details and nice background blur which is working fine. Back to the selfies. What we can see with portrait mode when I'm not using the selfie cam but the main cam is that I get a nice background blur on first glance but when you take a look at the cutout you can see it's cutting out a little bit aggressively and it's not detecting my face pretty uh, good. And the issue that I had with the portrait mode in with the selfie cam which, where you can guess it has a 3D face scanner it should have good portrait mode is that you don't get really background blur. Uh, you, this is now in daylight everything nice and sharp I don't have any issues with this but the background is not very blurry so I'm not sure what's working what's what's uh, wrong here with the portrait mode in selfie with the selfie cam this is uh, also a difference here this is 0 0.8 times the default white angle you can get even 0 0.6 times so even wider if you want to but this is 0 0.8 the default one and this is the one times selfie cam um, where you can see yeah it's a little bit uh, narrower but still sharpness is there you can see uh, details on my skin and my face a little beer beard beer hat hair beard hair and uh, another shot HDR colors uh, it's fine it doesn't have any issues here it was cut cut at grass and was uh, laying down here still just a few days ago it was cut and it was raining so yeah uh, the colors are good it's a bit punchy here and there I was focusing on this uh, restaurant to do a zoom shot this is three and a half times the zoom uh, it should be optical zoom and it looks like optical zoom it has some problems maybe a little bit here you can see this uh, is nice and sharp everything 
maybe here you can see the sharpness is going away and here as well but it is pretty good for three and a half times zoom this is 10 times zoom which is still pretty good for 10 times zoom i have to say uh, because it's not optical it looks almost like if it is optical but it is a hybrid zoom um, using probably the very large pixels uh, that we have a little bit of overblown going on but still nice and sharp without any issues this is now roughly 30 times or 20 times zoom it's uh, getting a little bit yeah, falling apart as you can see here it's a bit pixelated in this view it's still looking okay this is now 100 times zoom this is probably 50 times zoom <laughs> And it's 100 times zoom you can see it is um, very pixelated and if i zoom in 100 percent it's almost nothing that you can see here close-up shots um, with the main camera are a little bit problematic because you have to go a bit further away and as you can see here i did not nail the focus here on this one if you go however a bit more closer up it will switch automatically to the ultra wide angle and allows you to do a macro shot with the ultra wide angle you will say oh, this doesn't really look like macro but you can zoom in because you have a large sensor you have 16 megapixels and you can get all the details just like the pollen fallen here uh, fallen here on the little leaves that you can see which is pretty nice and this leaf that fall onto the flower itself and this is another macro shot with the ultra wide angle you can see all the little details here on the leaves which is pretty nice and this is how far you have to get away from uh, the leaves to get it uh, roughly sharp here you can see it's sharp here it's falling off already with the main lens uh, so you can also see there's a slight color shift between the ultra wide angle that has a little bit warmer colors and the normal one has a bit more cooler colors then i was experimenting with the three and a half times this is i think roughly five times zoom lens to see how this could affect the bokeh in the background it is doing a good job here if i zoom in you can see mm, it's not so sharp and there's some noise already creeping in and now we go to the 10 times you can see there's a difference between the five times and the 10 times because it is uh yeah getting darker for some reason even though it should be the same lens the same aperture 3 and 3.5 it is getting darker even the same uh, kind of shutter speed it's getting darker for some reason and maybe the 10 times is putting some more information from other cameras together it doesn't really look better and the bokeh may be slightly different as well sharpness i think on par not much has changed that not nailing uh, ultra sharp then another um shot with the ultra wide angle notice a little bit more yellowish kind of view but notice also how sharp it is of course there's distortion 11 millimeters has to be distortion uh, the distortion correction is not so good here i would say but we cannot do magic in this case even though it is called magic otherwise it's very sharp it's not noisy uh, very sharp to the edges as you can see so very good ultra wide angle this is the main lens this is the three and a half times zoom this is the 10 times zoom looks like optical if i zoom in here 100 percent you can see maybe a little bit where you can see it is post processed but it's like basically optical this is even i think 20 times and this is 30 times uh, it doesn't make sense to zoom in further because you can see already it doesn't make sense to zoom in further than 20 times because the quality is degrading too much this is 10 times zoom um the little dog that was walking here with its owner and it's good it's a good picture even though it's not pixel perfect i can imagine the galaxy s22 ultra being better maybe the huawei p50 pro being a little bit better here as well uh, this is now even close up i think 30 times zoom and i nailed it here a little bit more you can see it's a bit still rough windy and it was rough to get the shot uh, right aligned and the dog was moving but here i got it and you get more details but if i go to 100 percent, you can see it looks like an old painting and 100 percent uh, at uh, 100 times zoom you can see also that this is like uh, oil painting style not much of a difference uh, the dog can laugh here uh, how he wants it doesn't change anything then another shot where i want to show you the, the dramatic difference between the main lens and how much you can get into into the frame and the ultra wide angle this is from the same spot you can see wow <laughs> this is really a big difference that uh, the ultra wide angle can do here uh, though something in between is missing i would say uh, then you have to use your feet uh, maybe to zoom out but the ultra wide angle is really really ultra wide in this case dark shots um, 
it has some kind of algorithm in automatic mode where it is using a longer exposure times but it's nowhere near what you can shoot with the normal night mode at least if you have complete darkness or very dark i couldn't see the bottle here at all and could read anything so it made brighten it up so i can read it at least but it's still not performing very well we have some yellowish hue we have some reddish hue we have a lot of noise we had a lot of noise uh, reduction here it gets a bit better bit better, better if you trigger the night mode still a yellowish hue still a bit of yeah harsh noise reduction you can still read everything here nice and sharp but it's uh, not flagship level then we have uh, this yellowish kind of hue we have uh, noise reduction going on and we have uh, this one here with the night mode on this is without night mode on you can see not much of a difference i would even say that maybe a bit more yellowish a bit more brighter on the night mode on but it's not much of a difference in terms of details yeah a bit more noisy here a bit more smoothened out as you can see details are lacking it's not the best in night mode here as well you can see what what there is but it is missing clarity it's missing a little bit of white it's everything a bit of yellowish and this is a night mode now really dark situation everything looks okayish still if i zoom in yeah yeah you can see the details are lacking missing and um, too bright it is not perfect it's not looking good here also the stars uh, this is nice to have it but you can see already the details are missing here in the trees it is not a good night mode shooter but in daytime it can redeem itself nice punchy colors here very nice shot directly can share it on twitter or instagram or actually i really did did it already and then again here dramatic shot same position ultra wide angle you can crop on the ultra wide angle you can see that it can do a nice sharp shot almost a bit of a little bit maybe to over sharpened here and there but it could be also almost used in the ultra wide angle because it's so good it's getting a bit softer on the sides here look at the tree or at the trees here but in general a good ultra wide angle zoom shot three and a half times i would even argue that this three and a half times zoom shot looks a bit artificial uh, i'm sharp here on the sides here is okay not so much sharpening applied which i like and then the 10 times zoom looks a little bit better i would say even you can see here uh, lots and lots of details uh, the building you can read the name of the building you can even maybe made out, make out this here what's written here and this little um, cathedral or little church and keep this in mind because we will visit this as well in a few seconds this is the um, what is it 50 times zoom and then I have another 100 times zoom just unusable the fall off of the main large sensor with its f1.9 f aperture you can see here very clearly a little hot chocolate you can see here unsharp here it is sharp has a small ring of sharpness and then it gets a bit unsharp again so this is the fall off that you will have naturally by using this lens together with this large sensor and aperture uh, another hdr shot everything nice and fine you can clear it's a bit of dark here still but it was like this dark and dull and the, the sun you can see here this is blue because the sky is blue so it's reflecting here and here there's a bit of grayish because it's reflecting this grayish kind of cloud which is super awesome and this is the church that i mentioned and the sign where we went to as well and here you can see the is it's pretty damn awesome you can see that uh, the sun is a bit distorted but you can see that the ultra wide angle is doing a perfect job when it comes to hdr a uh, bit of boosted colors definitely here the blues and the greens but it's looking okay some details are missing here but it's in the ultra wide angle you can directly share it you can just crop in here the middle and you can share it directly to instagram and uh, also another nice shot here you can see uh, another zoom test uh, this is i think three and a half times it's a little bit moving targets a bit harder to hit so it has some issues with moving targets and the focusing this is 10 times it looks a bit brighter and it looks a bit more orangey yellowish or reddish kind of punchy colors the zoom in 10 times looks awesome still good a bit of sharpness missing this 50 times i think and this is 100 times roughly 100 times uh, it's artificial <laughs> you don't have any chance this is 100 times this was like uh, 
a little less 30 times maybe um, just don't use the camera for anything more than 11 15 times maybe then it looks good otherwise it is uh, a pixel mess and the um, galaxy s22 ultra can perform better here but it's good up to 10 times you can get perfectly nice shots with the mate uh, with the magic 3 pro plus and uh, what do you think about the photos i think it's good i'm just a bit disappointed by the night mode so what do you think about the Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus? This, by the way, is without an external microphone attached to the Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus. So is my voice still clear? And can you hear me well with this uh, microphone? I think there's a microphone on the back as well that is getting my noise or my voice. Um, what do you think about the Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus? That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye. And psst, of course, there will be a comparison with the P50 Pro and the Mate 40 Pro as well in the future.